Chapter 8, Part 1, Inheritance and Polymorphism Inheritance, Subclass, Superclass Inheritance and polymorphism are important concepts of object-oriented programming that creates hierarchical relationships among classes. Let's look at an example to learn how this concept can be used. Put on your developer hat and let's design a simulation. In this program, we can navigate a city using various vehicles, an electric scooter, a bike, or a car. These vehicles have common attributes. They need fuel or some energy source to move and have maximum speed. They are able to move and need charging when fuel or energy runs low. The electric scooter uses electric power. It has max speed of 60 miles per hour. It may or may not have a headlight. It can move, needs charging, and can fold. A bicycle is powered by the rider. It has maximum speed of 14 miles per hour. It may or may not have a basket. It can move, charges by feeding the rider, and can jump. A car is powered by electricity. It has maximum speed of 200 miles per hour. It may or may not have a sunroof. It can move, needs charging, and can be put on autopilot. The scooter, bicycle, and the car are a type of a vehicle. In Java, we use inheritance to create hierarchies among classes. In this case, we can put the common attributes in the vehicle class and put the specific attributes in the individual class, scooter, bicycle, and car class. The vehicle class is now the super class or the parent class. The scooter, bicycle, and car class that inherit the super class attributes are known as the subclass or the child class. This relationship is also called the Iza relationship. Scooter is a vehicle, bicycle is a vehicle, and car is also a vehicle. However, the other way around is false. Vehicle is a scooter. Hmm, isn't always true. Vehicle is not necessarily always a scooter. Children class inherits the properties of the parent class, and it can even do more. 